Hello and welcome to Poetry in Style. So today is a bit of a sad day because precisely a year ago a really good friend of mine passed away. His name was Pablo, a friend I met in Mexico and who really helped me in a difficult time of my life and who helped a lot of people. He was very young, 36 years old and 36 years old is way too young to die. A month before that, my aunt passed away. She was 87 years old. And what those two people have in common is that they were very good people who created a lot of good things around them and who helped a lot of people. And when they departed, it left a big hole in many people's life. A few months ago, I, we found that my mother and I this book. It's called Les plus beaux poèmes d'amour de la poésie française, the most beautiful love poem of French poetry. It's a book that my aunt gave to my mother as a gift many, many years before. And she wrote a word at the first page of the book. And when my mother and I read that, those words, it felt like we could hear my aunt, Janine, speak directly to my mother. It felt like my aunt, a part of her, was still in this book. And that's what I, I wanted to talk about today, is that when people pass away, the reason why we grieve, the reason why it is difficult is because these people meant something for us. You know, my aunt had five children with children themselves. And I made a video about that last year with the poem, Do Not Stand on My Grave and Weep. Pablo had one child and as I said, he helped a lot of people and he helped me in difficult times. He really made a big change in my time in Mexico. It's a friend that I, we, I was really happy to meet. So um, today I wanted to take another poem because it's a day that, you know, it's been a bit more than a year that my aunt passed away and it's been precisely a year that Pablo passed away. So I wanted to take another poem to commemorate the memories and to just see how we can use art and poetry to honor the people, not the people who died, but the people who have been in our life, the people who have had uh, something to do with our lives, because that's the reason why we grieve, is because we knew them and they created a difference. The name of the poem is When Tomorrow Starts Without Me. When tomorrow starts without me When tomorrow starts without me And I'm not there to see If the sun should rise and find your eyes All filled with tears for me I wish so much you wouldn't cry The way you did today While thinking of the many things We didn't get to say I know how much you love me, as much as I love you. And each time you think of me, I know you'll miss me too. But when tomorrow starts without me, please try to understand that an angel came and called my name and took me by the hand and said my place was ready in heaven far above and that I'd have to leave behind all those I dearly love. But as I turned to walk away, a tear fell from my eye, for all my life I'd always thought I didn't want to die. I had so much to live for, so much left yet to do. It seemed almost impossible that I was leaving you, I thought of all the yesterdays, the good ones and the bad. I thought of all the love we shared and all the fun we had. 
if I could relive yesterday, just even for a while, I'd say goodbye and kiss you, and maybe see you smile. But then I fully realized that this could never be, for emptiness and memories would take the place of me. And when I thought of worldly things I might miss come tomorrow, I thought of you, and when I did, my heart was filled with sorrow. But when I walked through heaven's gates, I felt so much at home. When God looked down and smiled at me from his great golden throne, he said, this is eternity, and all I've promised you, today your life on earth is past, but here it starts anew. I promise not tomorrow, but today will always last, and since each day is the same way, there is no longing for the past. You have been so faithful, so trusting and so true, though there were times you did some things you knew you shouldn't do. But you have been forgiven, and now at last you're free, so won't you come and take my hand? and share my life with me. So when tomorrow starts without me, don't think we are far apart. For every time you think of me, I'm right here in your heart. It was written by David M. Romano, 1993, from the book Proof of Heaven by Eben Alexander. So the reason why I chose that poem today is that it is, it is a very spiritual poem. It is a poem about somebody passing away and crossing the gates of heaven and, uh, you know, having a new life up there in the sky. And the reason why I found it to be a good poem is that I do personally believe that we are not just our bodies, we are not just here living this life, but we are much more than that. But it's not my job here to convince you, if you don't believe in anything, it's not my job to convince you that it is not true. What you believe in or what you don't believe in is what you believe in or you don't believe in. But no matter whether we really believe in spirituality or not, that doesn't mean that we can't find some solace in these words because for example at the end he said so when tomorrow starts without me don't think we are far apart for every time you think of me I'm right here in your heart as I said the reason why we grieve is because these people have done something they have been there at times, good and bad, that make us remember them. And the thing we can do to make them stay alive is to keep remembering the good things they did for us, you know? And it doesn't matter whether you believe or not, these people are still alive through you, through your memory. And if they had last wishes, things that they wanted to do, like bringing people together. It doesn't matter whether they can see you or not, you know. If you grant them a positive wish they had, or if you memorize, or if you remember the good things, they are still alive, you know. My aunt and Pablo meant a lot for a lot of people, and they still do. And when I saw these words that my aunt wrote in this book, in my opinion, she was still alive, you know? And I spoke with the mother of, of Pablo. Imagine losing a, a child, you know, who is like a, very young and who had a child himself. And I, I remade a video in Spanish for her, you know, last year. And I explain how much Pablo had helped me in a difficult time. So I don't, I don't, 
No, how much it can help because, you know, when losing a child must be the most difficult thing that can happen to somebody, but at least a part of Pablo kept living with me and a part of my aunt kept living with other people. So, a part of my aunt also is still in this book and a part of Pablo is still there in everything he did for all of us. So that's all I wanted to say. So, um, yeah, I, I hope you can find comfort in those words.